Great day everyone, this is Jason Santos and we are going to continue the discussion of general mathematics and now we are on the evaluation of functions and the concept of gemdas. So let's all get started. So we are now on the evaluation of functions and performing of uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and composition of functions under the most essential learning competencies or MELCs. Okay, so that's where we have based it from. And then again, uh, this is based from the module issued by the Department of Education or DepEd. So first, Let's try to define this, okay? So, in evaluation of functions, one must have a good grasp of GEMDAS. So, ano ba yung GEMDAS? So, when you say GEMDAS, it is an acronym for the words grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, when you're asked to simplify two or more operations in one algebraic numerical expression, the order of the letter in GEMDAS indicates what to calculate first. So that serves as your guide which uh, operation you would do first. Okay? It's always in this order. Um, if there is multiplication and subtraction in the given, then you would have to do multiplication first. Okay? Because it falls first in the GEMDAS order. And um, so on and so forth. Right? So, evaluating a function means replacing the variable in the function. So, papalitan mo daw yung variable. In this case, x. So, yung x is replaceable with a number that is given. With a value from the function's domain and computing for the result to denote that we are evaluating f. And then f, on the other hand, is just a name. And it can be replaced by any other letter. So, pwede siya maging A, it could be B, it could be J, it could be H, so on and so forth. So, let's try to write and um, analyze this given function. So, F, or the function of S, F is equals to X, or a function of X is equals to 2X plus 4 for x is equals to 5. Or, ibig sabihin daw neto, um, your x is equals to 2x plus 4, and then the given is 5. Yung x now ay equivalent to 5. So, meaning you will be replacing x is here with the number 5. So, let's try to look what happens when we do that. Just replace the variable x with 5. So, yung f, 5 is equals to, replace that now, 2x, so 2 times 5, hindi ito yung x na yun, ha? this is multiplication. 2 times 5, so bakit uh, multiplication? Because that's the first thing, that's the first among the gemdas, and uh, the function here is, yeah, multiplication. So 2 times 5 plus 4 plus 4, is equals to 14. So, paano nangyari yun? 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4. Therefore, you have 14. So, that's the first one. Okay? Second, uh, let's be reminded that x is just a placeholder. So, gaya na nabanggit ko kanina, it's just um placeholder or parang lagayan and f is just a name. Okay? Because you can replace x anytime with any number that is given, and then yung f naman, it could be interchanged by different letters, depending on, again, what is given to you. Okay? So, let's try to look at this uh, function. Okay? So, x is equals to 1 plus negative x plus x squared. And what if the function for x is equals to 3? So, meaning yung x dito, papalitan natin ng 3. So, let's try to see what happens when we compute for this. So, there, we will put number 3 on the placeholder. So, again, fx, so you'll put 3. So, you put 3 here, equals to 1. 
over here plus uh, negative 3. Okay? 1 plus negative 3 plus 3 squared. Okay? So, sa GEMDAS, ano ba mauuna? Exponents, right? So, you would have to do this first. So, 3 squared becomes 9. Okay? And then, you bring over 1 plus Sorry, walang plus sign dito, no? But, it should be addition plus negative 3 plus 9. So, 1 plus negative 3 plus 9. So, 1 plus negative 3 is equals to negative 2. Let's, uh, let me pull out my calculator so you could see it better, no? So, 1 plus negative 3 is equals to negative 2 plus 9 is equals to 7. So, therefore, your answer here is 7. Okay, so I hope we understand that. So, now, let's try to answer this activity. Um, if you have the module, you can also follow and answer this activity. Okay? Um, if you would like to test and try to answer it on your own, you can go ahead and pause this video and then come back once you have answered it. Okay, so I think you have already answered this. Um, and then let's go ahead and see what are the answers for this given. 5 given. Then we will explain it one by one. So first, um, let's look at this. Please disregard the other parts because I will um, dwell on that later and explain those to you. So first, we have function of x is equals to 3x minus 2. And then, according to our given, x is equals to 1.5, meaning yun yung ipapalit sa x. Okay? So, x is equals to uh, 3x minus 2. Okay? So, 3x minus 2 is equals to 3 times 1.5 minus 2. It is equals to 4.5 minus 2. Thus, you have 2.5. So, your answer for number 1 is 2.5. Next. 3x squared minus 4x. So, papalitan mo lang agad niya ng 1.5. Transpose it here. 3x squared minus 4x is equals to 3 times 1.5 squared. So, you have an exponent. Uh, according to Gemdas, yan ang mauuna no? before other operations. Minus 4 times 1.5. So, what you did is... 1.5 squared is 2.25. So, andyan pa rin yung 3 and yung multiplication sign. Minus, uh, on the other side, pwede mo na siyang ituloy, ano? kasi separate naman siya. Okay. 4 times 1.5 is equals to 6. Okay. So, minus 6. So, therefore, uh, 3 times 2.25 is equals to 6. 75 minus 6, and then your answer is 0 0.75. So that's for number 2. For number 3, square root of x plus 4. So square root of x, yung x is equivalent to 1.5 plus 4. So 1.5 plus 4 is equal to square root of 5.5. Then, we proceed with the square root operation. You have 2.34. And then, letter D, you have um, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equals to 2 times 1.5, this 1, plus 1, and then x, 1.5, minus 1. So, you follow Gemdas. So, 2 times 1.5 is 3, plus 1, 
over 1.5 minus 1 or 0 0.5. So therefore, you will have 4 over 0 0.5. So 4 divided by 0 0.5 is equals to 8. And then finally, we are on this um, function. So meron tayo dito grouping symbol. Okay? The bracket. So, mauuna siya according to John Das. So, very simple lang, ano? X plus 1. So, let me just remind everyone, ano? Just in case you have missed this out, or kasi minsan nakakalimutan ito ng mga students, particularly if matagal lang hindi nakapag-take ng math, we have the concept of greatest integer function. So, what is greatest integer function? It's... Uh, almost similar to rounding off. However, and again, I'll let me underscore however, it does not work in a way that you would round it off to the nearest um, number. You would have to round it off to the nearest origin. So, paano nangyari yun? No? Example, we have 1.5, no? kasi yan yung given natin. Eh. So, you replace 1. Uh, x with 1.5. So, ito na siya. So, 1.5 plus 1. And then, it becomes 1 plus 1. So, paano nangyari yun? Ano? Using the greatest integer function, so, let's say you fall here, you go back to this point. No? In our case, this is 1.5. I'm uh, sorry, this is 1.5, right? So, what happens is that kahit maging 1.6 pa yan or 1.7 or 1.8, you will always go back to your point of origin which is 1. So, same here. E paano kung yung given natin is 2.5? So, what happens is you will replace this with 2 kasi you would apply the concept of greatest integer function. Okay? So, 1.5 plus 1 applying greatest integer function, it becomes 1 plus 1. Therefore, your answer is 2. So, I hope we understand all of the um, items here in the given and we're able to understand the answers and how we have derived them. So, that's it for this very short video. I hope you have learned something and as always, if you would like to um, watch more videos just like this. I have uh, videos for business math, statistics, and other senior high school modules as well as um, business topics for college. You can check out my playlists. Um, if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to reach me uh, on the comment section or on the social media platforms I'm in such as Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, with that, thank you so much and I'll see you all on my next video to God be all the glory.